The pilgrims are walking parts of the almost 800 kilometer route from France across northern Spain and all of the last 100 kilometers to their final destination, Santiago de Compostela. Today the group split in two to walk different parts of the Camino. TV presenter JJ Chalmers, priest Kate Botley, and actor Neil Morrissey are heading to a monastery once known for its vineyards. I have many vices. I like to drink, but then so did Jesus, uh, particularly wine. Is my Spanish good or bad? Does that say Fuente del Vino? What does that mean? Fountain of wine. <laughs> it won't be real wine. But look, there's a tap with wine coming out of it. Body is that us. right? Go fortify yourself. There is a god. He's just necking it straight out of the tap. Let's we'll, we'll just stay here. <laughs> <laughs> Surely it's black currant juice. You know, maybe, maybe there is a god after all. Yes, there is, <laughs> and she loves us. It's amazing, free wine. Yeah, baby. Free wine. When do you ever get free wine apart from in church? And then they only give you a little bit. Hopefully, the other half of the group have been at like a cheese mountain or something. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I so hope that's true. It's traditional to offer charity to pilgrims along the route. It's really nice. In Arache, the local vineyard supplies over 100 litres of wine a day, free of charge. Savour that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sip. It's really nice. <laughs> I think this might be the secret of me getting through the rest of the Camino. Gracias. That actually, for me, is a really spiritual moment. Yeah. Jesus said, I've come that you might have life and have it in all its abundance. Yeah, there you go. A lot of people do the Camino in the idea that through pain comes a greater understanding of God and that self-denial is the way to salvation. That's not quite my theology. No. This is far more my theology. <laughs> You're staggering, Morrissey. <laughs> no, I'm all right, I'm all right. <laughs> it's like, show me the no way, way to go, go home. <laughs> I'm tired of the to go to bed. To bed. <laughs> <laughs> Once people were too scared to walk the Camino, the medieval Codex Calixtinus, perhaps the oldest guide to the route, describes the local people in this region as ugly of face, debauched and drunken. The construction of monasteries along the path helped reassure pilgrims they'd be safe in the hands of God. Santiago soon began to rival Rome as one of Europe's most popular pilgrim destinations. Neil, Kate and JJ finally reached the monastery, once run by the Benedictines. Wow, that is beautiful. <laughs> that is. I thought the wine fountain was beautiful, but this is really beautiful. Yeah, it's really beautiful. nice. I've got a lot of time. I love these windows. They're just right round the outside. Oh, that's pretty spectacular. It is stunning, isn't it? Are they scallop shells? Yeah, yeah. So this was... For the, com the Camino as well. Stunner. It says a relic of Saint Verinundo, whoever Saint Verinundo is. It's a piece of a saint. So quite often it's like a finger bone or a piece of skin or something like that. I'm so fascinated that parts of saints' bodies are venerated. I find that really interesting and intriguing. And it's also a bit gruesome, which I quite like. <laughs> Saint Veramundo. See, he looks a bit sad there, but in the yeah. tapestry, it's quite happy. <laughs> it's a bit like Jeremy Corbyn. It does look it does like Jeremy, Jeremy Corbyn. Corbyn. <laughs> Neil was brought up Catholic, but is now an atheist. Should we have a quick look? See, right up there, I mean, it's not there just purely for decoration, is it? That would be a chain that one of the pilgrims was forced to wear. <laughs> One of the things I love about you is you just can't get that Catholic out of you, can you? <laughs> it's deep, deep down. It's like, it must be something that's used to, like, beat people. It must be for penance. You can take the boy out of Roman Catholicism, but you can't take the Roman Catholicism out of the boy, can you? <laughs> I take your point. I take your point. 